Can I give you each a little gift? It is a million dollar bill. Your first one today, I bet. Right. How about that? On the back, it tells you the ways of life. Way to life eternal. Hallelujah. God bless, God bless you. Do you all know the Lord Jesus Christ today? I do. Follow Him. Follow Him. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. He alone cares for you. Don't trust this old world. So yes, we are encouraging people here today. We're encouraging people here today to accept Jesus Christ. And so Alive Outside Ministries comes to public places, comes to street corners, and proclaims the gospel. We just take time to do that. We don't have all the time in the world, but we take time to come out on the street corners into public places and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the gospel of Jesus Christ offers hope where nothing else offers hope. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the only way. This world will leave you wanting. This world will leave you hopeless. But the Lord Jesus Christ offers hope. He offers life. So we just encourage people here today in Marion, Ohio, on this beautiful October day, to accept the Lord Jesus Christ, to follow Him. I will show wonders in heavens above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. The great and the awesome day of the Lord. It is coming soon, folks. It is coming soon. Listen to the Apostle Peter, as he declares his first sermon in the second chapter of Acts on the day of Pentecost. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, now we're really getting into the meat of the gospel. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It says that right there in Acts 2, verse 21. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, amen, attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs which God did through him. In your midst, as you yourselves know, him being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death. See, Jesus Christ, he came from heaven to earth to show the way that he was killed. He was innocent, but he was killed. He was put on a cross and died. And while on that cross, he bore the payment for your sins. Can I give you all a little gift? Let me, let me dig it out here. I've got a little gift for you. And I bet it's the only million dollar bill you're going to get today. I've got a million dollars for both of you. And on the back side, it's got something worth more than a million dollars. It tells you the way to eternal life. If I can't get that apart, you're going to get two of them. <laughs> I can get it. There you go. <laughs> well, anyway, so you all know Jesus today? Well, I encourage you to proclaim that from the rooftops. Shout it that all may know. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. Amen. We can't earn it. We can't be good enough. We can't earn it or be good enough. We have got to come to Jesus through the blood of the Lamb. Yes, we do. Through His righteousness. Amen. Have a great day. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus today. Repent. Repent that you might live. Repent that you might live. Back to verse 23, him being delivered and determined purpose and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by all his hand, you have crucified and put to death the Lord Jesus, whom God raised up, having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be held by it. Jesus rose from the dead people. Jesus conquered death. Death was a victory, death was a sting. Oh, Jesus overcame the grave. Jesus overcame the grave. He rose from the dead. For David says concerning him, I foresaw 
Lord, I always, before my face, and he is at my right hand that I may not be shaken. Are you shaken today? Are you shaken today? Oh, Jesus will hold your hand. He will be at your right hand. Oh, are you shaken today? Therefore my heart rejoiced, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh also will rest in hope. You can have hope in Jesus today. You can trust and rest in Him today. You can repent, and you can have life, and you can have life abundantly. See, Jesus paid the price for you today. Jesus paid the price that you can have eternal life in Him. You need to trust in Him. You see, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous will not. We can only have righteousness through Jesus and then have eternal life in Him, in Him. Romans chapter 16. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Starting with verse 9. For your obedience has become known to all. Therefore I am glad on your behalf. But I want you to know to be wise what is good and simple concerning evil. Be wise to what is good, simple concerning evil. So praise God. We will see Satan crushed beneath our feet. Trust Jesus today. Trust him today. Hallelujah. It is God and God alone that can save your soul. It is God and God alone. Only He can save your soul today. You can only be righteous through the Lord Jesus Christ. How you doing today, sir? Good to see you again. Jesus loves you, sir. I think abortion is murder. God says abortion is murder. We don't want to kill children. Why would people in this country want to kill children? Murders, murders, murders. Children are precious. Children are created in the sight of God Almighty, in the image of God Almighty. Why would you want to kill children? Man and brethren, they said to Peter, What must we do to be saved? Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent, repent, repent. That's the message. That's the message. Repent for killing babies. Repent for every wicked and evil thought. Repent for every wicked and evil thing you said. How are you saying today? You doing all right? All right, all right. I'm just out here telling people about Jesus. Encourage them to repent and live. Uh, amen, amen. Well, I hope so that you know the Lord Jesus today. Know Him that there's hope in Him. There's hope in nothing else, nothing else. He alone, He alone is our Savior. He alone has made the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the only way. He's the only way. Trust therefore in the Lord Jesus, in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't put your hope in the government. They're $20 trillion in debt. Don't put your hope in the government. They are lying to you. They're giving you false hope. Put your hope, therefore, in God. The government is giving you false hope. They're about to crumble and fall. They're lying to you. Trust only in Jesus. Trust only in Jesus. How are you today, sir? You all right? Can I give you a little gift? A million dollar bill. I bet it's the only one you got today, right? All right. On the back, it tells you something more valuable. How to have life eternal, sir. Hallelujah. We're giving away million dollar bills here. Million dollar bills. Yep, million dollar bills. Oh, and we're telling you 
the way to what is much, much, much more valuable than a million dollar paper, million dollar bill. It is life eternal through Jesus Christ. This is, this, <laughs> praise God. This is Phil Eddy with Alive Outside Ministries, praying that you too would accept the Lord Jesus Christ and follow him with your whole heart. Like me on Facebook at Alive. Like me here on on YouTube at Phil80, and you have a blessed day. And as that man said, hallelujah.